from Television City in Hollywood, it's the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. And now, here he is, the Tim Conway. Last week, singing. This week, dancing. You know, for a terrible moment there, I thought that was garbage. I really did. Uh, that's wonderful. I, I guess you brought those things with you, huh? That's marvelous. I, I really did. I thought people were going to stone me there for a moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, excuse me a minute. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, could you possibly stand up just a moment, please? Yeah, just slide over there a moment. And could you just kind of move over one, please? Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, it's so much nicer out here. The, the dance was good, wasn't it? Oh, it was great. Pardon? I'm the wrong one to pick to talk to. Oh, well, this won't affect my show, will it? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. What do you have, laryngitis? Oh, slight case of laryngitis. Mm -hmm. Could you speak up, please? No. <laughs> yes, I am. I see. How are you? Real good? Yeah. Would you like laryngitis? You want to sit over here? It's be great for the show. You know, um, if you've ever seen the Carol Burnett show, at the opening of the show, uh, somebody always brings like gifts and things, you know, like a doll or a piece of bread or a cake or something like that. You know, you ever see that? Right. Uh-huh. Did, did you bring me anything? No, just a hat I threw it to you. You did? That, that was it, huh? <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> just, just the hat. That was it and the laryngitis, which I'll get after the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you have anything you'd like to give? Any gift at all? You're worth more than that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you're, like, you're right, money really doesn't matter, does it? Well, we certainly received a lot of gifts here tonight. It's really going well. Do you mind if I watch the show from here? No, oh, okay, fine. Well, I guess, uh, poor as I may be, <clears throat> it's on with the show. <laughs> Do you want to find another seat, please? <laughs> Our guest star, Shelley Winters. Our special guest star, John Forsythe. And our musical guest, Jackie DeShannon.
Thank you very much for being with us this evening, and I'd like to thank Jackie DeShannon, Shelley Winters, and John Forsythe for being with me. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the closing. My fault. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. I thought that show went fast. Yes. Didn't it seem to speed right along? It's kind of silly, John, to let me stand out here and do the closing before the show is on. A nice guy like you. Probably one of the nicest guys in show business. I sincerely mean it. Nice show to run with love, three kids. A wonderful Gee. guy. But stand out here and let me do that. Gee, Tim, everybody cracks under pressure. <laughs> okay, John, I'll let you go in a minute. Well, listen. Stay tuned, because I know you're going to enjoy the show. And if you watch the show, then you'll get to see me do the closing again at the end. <laughs> on with the show. The Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Tonight, also featuring Bellenden Somerville, Art Metrano, McLean Stevenson, the Jimmy Joyce Singers, and the Tom Hansen Dancers. We would like now to introduce a sketch about a jealous husband who doesn't trust his wife. Wait a second, I thought this was a sketch about the Tooth Fairy. Shh, don't give away the plot. <laughs> hello, Mama. Yes, hello, Mama. I'm in agony, I can't talk to you now. No, 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 I lost a tooth. No, my brute of a husband, Harry, didn't hit me. Uh, of course I know how jealous Harry is, Mama. That's why I went to a lady dentist. <laughs> well, I got the tooth right here to prove it. Yeah, Mama, I can't talk to you now. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Bye. to wake you up. Ah, and who are you? Huh? Oh, I'm the Tooth Fairy. Hey, boy, that's a beauty. Yeah, that's worth a quarter. Here you go. <laughs> now, listen, you've got to be kidding. What are you, some kind of a nut? Uh, no. Well, now, you see, that's the trouble you've grown up. You don't believe. Now, I ever have any trouble with little kids. You want a quarter or not? Now, now, listen, if you don't get right out of here, I'm going to call the cops. All right. Dora, I'm home. That's my husband. He's so jealous. If he ever catches you, he'll kill you. Get out of here. Get out of here. How did you ever get up here? It's the third floor. Well, I flew. Well, go fly out of here. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I can't fly when I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> Dora! Dora, yes, where are you? Yes, yes. Where oh. are you? Oh, oh Harry, darling. Hi, baby. Uh, I didn't expect you for Aha, uh -huh. so you admit it. Admit what? That you had other plans. All right, where is he? Where is he? Where is who? Where is he? Uh, who? Uh, oh, wh Harry, why are you so jealous? Why? I mean, you've been like this for 15 years. Because you're a beautiful broad. <laughs> Just the thought of another man even looking at you, and I'd go, Ice? All right. Who you been drinking with? Harry, for your information, the ice is to keep the swelling down. I had a tooth pulled today. I don't believe it. Well, I got the tooth right here to prove it. The tooth! I've got the tooth! The tooth right here to prove it! <laughs> here, Harry. Oh, yeah. You're right, baby. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm never going to doubt you again. Uh -huh. Not as long as I live. Uh -huh. I'm going to go in and get washed up. Yes, why don't you do that, dear? <clears throat> What, you get out of here? Come on. If you don't get out of here, my husband's gonna tear you wing from wing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm still too nervous to fly. Oh. Pajamas! Hey, these are men's pajamas. Get in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's the guy who belongs to these strange pajamas? What? I'll tear him to pieces. I'll tear you, I'll kill him. Where is he? Harry, they're your pajamas. I bought them for you today. Oh. Gee, they're real pretty, too. Uh, 
Well, uh, I'll get the other pajamas out of the closet. Out of the closet? Uh, they didn't... Okay, there they are. <laughs> You know something? I got about 80 more stops to make. You're messing up my bookwork. Well, you fly, darn you fly! It's the last time I come here, you keep Get it. out! Uh, Whose uh, nail clipper is this? What nail clipper? Hey, this what? is the third floor. She, uh, 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 Harry, that nail clipper? <laughs> that nail clipper belongs, uh, belongs to, uh, uh, to you, my mother. My mother, it's got great chili in here, hasn't it? I'm sorry, I'm... Ah, oh, baby, I tell you. I'm sorry I'm so jealous. When you... When you're married to a gold nugget, I don't trust anyone, you know? Ah, how about that? Married 15 years, I still hear bells. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go to bed, huh? Uh, uh, anything to say? Uh, close the window there, will you, Close the window? Yeah. <laughs> Baseball season is over, baby. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah when did you get those new slippers with the bells on? Oh, um, I've had those slippers a long time. Uh. <laughs> And how long have you had three feet? <laughs> oh, well, Harry. Get up, out of there. All right, Chubb. I get. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll, let me. Let me at him. Let me at him. Come at you. I'll kill him. I'll... Harry, hey, are you honest? That's not what you think. He was the tooth fairy. The tooth. Hey, that's right. He left something in here. A lot of teeth in it. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, yes, of course. Darling, I, you know that I would never look at another man. Never. I know. I know. <laughs> Would you believe the Sandman? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Shh. John, I'm spying on the Japanese Navy. Oh, well, what are they talking about? Well, I don't know. It's all in Japanese. See how clever they are? <laughs> Ah, 
Ну да я, все дома. Ее, то молодец, вот я, где дома я, да, Иро, Идо. Ну, все дома я. Вот, то мы я, не вяжем. Ну да, а, ну да, с кем? А, то ты где дома, как бы, ты где ты я? А. Окей, нова. Я. А, вот и я. Йога хама. Ну, физика ма, флик ван, вот и. Вот и. You don't mind where to get one of you. Rotten. You know what I'm saying. What? What the mother you know? 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 ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ。ディーズ
Ladies and gentlemen, the Tom Hansen Dancer. We thought that dance would take a little longer, but it didn't, so I didn't finish my shower. But I, I got out here just in time to see the feathers on the floor. However, I would like at this time to thank a man who puts a lot of work into these dances every week. How about a big hand for our choreographer, Tom Hansen, huh? <laughs> a little bashful. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's another one under this. Stay tuned for the second portion of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour with Tim's guests, Shelley Winters, John Forsyth, and Jackie DeShannon. And now, we return for the second portion of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Almost every local television station has a kiddie show, and most of them are done live like this one. Now, here is Captain Bucky and Mr. Billy Goat. Good morning, boys and girls. The makers of Chalky Chicks, the chocolate-covered breakfast cereal in the shape of little chickens, brings you Captain Bucky and his pal, Mr. Billy Goat. Hi, kids. Captain Bucky here, along with my good friend, Mr. Billy Goat. Say hello, Mr. Billy Goat. Ah, huh? Well, as you know, we're brought to you by the makers of Chalky Chicks, but we'll get to that in a moment. First of all, let's talk to Prairie Rabbit. Hi, Captain Bucky. Hi, Prairie Rabbit. Say, what's in store for the kids today? We've got a super keen day today. We're going to the Magic Blackboard. Yo. And then we're going over with the clock to learn to tell time. Ah. And then we're going to come back and have a real super nummy recipe in our Chucky Chicks recipe contest. Wow. And then lots of real swell super keen cartoons. Hey, that really sounds great. You know that, kids? Well, listen, why don't you go see if Mr. TikTok is here, and I'll go to the Magic Blackboard. Okay, okay. but say the magic word. Huh? Excuse me. Uh oh you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, let's talk to Magic Blackboard. Hi, Magic Blackboard. Oh, good. Well, we'll talk to Blackboard a little more later. Now, let's go to Mr. Clock. Say, Mr. TikTok, what time is it when the big hand's on 12 and little hand's on 2? Cuckoo. Cuckoo. That's right. And what about when it's on 3? Cuckoo. 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 Right. Okay. Come on back. 
Well, kids, it's time for that secret recipe that all you kids have been sending in for Chalky Chicks. First one comes from Carol Collins, and she's from East Ninth and Euclid. And she, here's her recipe. She says, pour a big bowl of Chalky Chicks. Oh, my favorite. Nummy, nummy. Uh-huh. Now, she says, instead of using that same old sugar you use every day, use powdered sugar. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What a great recipe she's come up with. Now, let's put a little milk on that. Boy, Carol, thank you very much for sending that recipe in. Gee, it's so good. Let's share. Why not? Mmm. Mmm. Is that good? Thank you very much. What about cartoon time? Nummy, nummy. Bah! <laughs> now that's that's Captain Bucky and Mr. Billy Goat on a normal day. Now let's meet them the morning after they've been to their sponsor's annual all-night bash. <laughs> Well, 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 hi, kids. <laughs> it's old Captain Bucky here, along with his friend. Uh, uh, mm. uh, as you know, uh, Mrs. Bucky is looking in. Uh, the old captain didn't make it home last night. <laughs> I'm sure Mrs. Bucky will forgive him when he gets home sometime today, <laughs> right? And uh, did uh, Billy Goat make... <laughs> Mr. Billy Goat didn't make it home either. So uh, Mrs. Goat's looking. <laughs> He'll be home soon. <laughs> oh. Well, <clears throat> Mr. Billy Goat, let's talk to... Mr. Prairie Rabbit. <clears throat> well, I'm... Uh... Hi, Captain. Hi, Captain Bucky. Uh, hi, uh... uh what, what's in store for the kids? Oh, oh we've uh... got a super keen day. We're going to the blackboard, <clears throat> then we're going over to the clock and tell time, and then uh, we'll be back and... Uh... <laughs> I uh, have another super keen recipe in our Coffee Chicks recipe contest. Then we'll have some cartoons. Well, that, that sounds exciting. Well, <clears throat> why don't you go to Mr. TikTok and I'll, I'll hit the board. Don't <laughs> forget to say the magic word. Yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> Hi to Magic Blackboard. Uh, hi, Magic Blackboard. <laughs> Talk to Magic Blackboard later. Yeah. Yo, you in there? Yo. Yeah. What time is it? Two? Great. <laughs> time again for one of those great recipes, you little uh, kids. <laughs> Here's a hot one from Judy Scott. She says, first of all, pour yourself a big bowl of Chalky Chicks. Oh, boy, my favorite thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, enough. <laughs> then she says, slice a banana over it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Then she goes on. <laughs> Says, pour chocolate sauce over her. What? That's what it says, man. Read it. Man.
Uh, Mr. Billy Goat, why don't you have some of that? Oh, no, thank you, Captain. It's too good to share. <laughs> I had to give you a... <clears throat> well, why doesn't the old Captain dig right into that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Down the hatch. <laughs> oh. Super dummy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What? Well, well, look who's here, Captain. Boys what? and girls. <laughs> well, it's the nice lady that jumped out of the big ball of chalky chicks at the party last night. <laughs> going to Las Vegas. Why, golly, Ned's captain, are you going to Las Vegas? <laughs> what do you mean? Mm. I've already called Laverne. Well, I was led to believe that the four of us was going to Las Vegas for a wild weekend. That's what Goatface said. <laughs> oh, uh, dear, why don't you just go wait in the Magic Castle and play with the magic tulips or something? <laughs> don't give me that Magic Castle routine. I'll wait for you in the car. Oh, whatever. Well, wasn't that a nice surprise, boys and girls? Yeah. You're getting to see Captain Bucky and Mr. Billy Goat do their last television show. <laughs> hit the cartoon, Bill? We have three guys on the show that I'm very proud of, Rudy, Craig, and Barry. And they're known as the Third Bananas, and they're also known as the Tim Conway Drill Team. But here they are tonight uh, to show you just how important a manager can be to a boxer, the Third Bananas. <laughs> Killing you the best. <laughs> oh, baby, I've never seen such power. Oh, boy, is he gonna kill me. Okay, baby. Ready? Go get him. <laughs> now, now, stop hitting your gloves. Hit him. Hit him, dummy. You gotta hit him. Don't hit your gloves. Hit him, dummy. What's with you? What are you hitting your gloves for? It's papa, papa. You see what I mean? Pa! Much better. Pa! Oh boy, he's got it now. I'm dead. Okay, baby. Go get it. No, not with your mouth. Use your gloves. Not your mouth. Use your gloves, dummy. You gotta hit him with the gloves. Hit him, dummy. Hit him. What are you papa with your mouth for? It's papa with the hands. You gotta hit him. Papa, you gotta hit him. You get it? Pa! You got it now. Ah, I'm on to him now. I'll murder him. Okay, baby? Yeah, Go get him. Uh. Pow! Ah! He scared you. You're really dumb. You're very dumb. What are you always yelling at me for? What did you yell at him? Who? Oh. Now you did it. You hit him after the bell. What are you? Put your hand there. Man's best friend is his dog, as you will see tonight in a sketch about a Mountie, played by John Forsythe, his nagging wife, played by Shelley Winters, and his dog, played by Tim Conway. You know, you, you've been gone for three whole weeks. You don't care what happens to me all alone in this freezing, crummy dump. Oh, honey, I had a job to do. I'm a Mountie. I was out getting my man. Next time, could you get one for me? <laughs> uh, well, don't you even have a little kiss for me? Uh, no, none of the fellas wanted to be remembered. <laughs> He's not a dumb dog. He's my companion. Then what exactly am I? 
Well, I tell you, but I don't want to shock the dog. <laughs> Come on in, Wayne. Come on in, boy. Come on in. Look at that dumb dog. He's got no per personality, no warmth, no charisma. Oh, come on, now stop picking on him. He's a good old dog. Oh. All right, come on up here, sit on my lap. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm the wife, you're the dog. Oh. Oh. Good boy, good boy. Okay, what do we have for dinner? I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Why don't you make it a dog and I'll have it ready in a minute? <laughs> does that animal always have to eat with us? I sure he does. He's uh... One of the family. Yeah, on your side. Uh, <laughs> <are> you... <coughs> all right, all right. Now it's hot. <clears throat> See what a dumb dog is? I told him it was hot. He could at least blow on it. <laughs> He is not a dumb dog. Just, just look. Just look at what I taught him today. Heel. Get your feet off my table. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. Besides, he smells bad. And he hasn't had a drink in a week. Oh, I've had enough of this. Either that dog goes or I go. Now you're talking. <laughs> all right, all right, that does it. I am calling the Weather Bureau. What for? If it's a nice day tomorrow, I'm going to take him out and I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, Chief. Yeah. He did? Okay. What well, dirty Pierre has busted out of Fort Lafarge, and he's been sighted around here in this area, and I've got to go out and get him. Oh, here you Fort Lafarge? Yep. And you're going to leave me all alone here all with dirty way. Pierre around loose? I'll leave Prince here to protect you. <laughs> Some protection. I've seen him lose two out of three falls to a little chipmunk. No, 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 no. Don't you worry. Look, look what else I taught him. Okay, Prince. Prince? Kill! Ha! 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 Good dog. Good dog. All right. All righty. Dirty, dirty Pierre. All right. Up with the hands. Reach. All right, last Mountie, huh? I guess the revenge on you, huh? For sending me up 20 years ago. Huh. Prince, do something. <laughs> That's a smart dog. That's better than heel. Yeah. You better put that gun down or you're going to be sorry. Right, Prince? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you asked for it, Pierre. Prince, kill. Huh? <laughs> kill. Enough of this, Monsieur Monty. For you now, it is curtains. Prince, if this guy kills me, you're going to have to live alone with her. Come on, get up here. You're going to Fort Lafarge. Fort Lafarge, but you'll be gone for weeks. You bet. And you're going to leave me all alone with that dumb, dumb dog? What am I supposed to do? Hey, man.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we leave you tonight, I'd like to give a special thanks to some of my friends. First of all, the Jimmy Joyce Singers. <laughs> the lovely Tom Hansen Dancers. <laughs> the Third Bananas. Art Vitrano and McLean Stevenson. Chris <laughs> Bellin and David Somerville. And my very special guests, Jackie DeShannon, John Forsythe, and Shelley Winters. Thank you so much. You were a delight. It certainly is a delight to do a show with people like that. They were just marvelous all weekend. Before we go, since uh, my mother and father are out here, I would like to introduce them tonight. Just take a moment, if I might. My mother and father, please. The what? They're at the Jim Neighbors show. Well, that's nice. You bring them out by bus all the way from Cleveland, and that's it. Well, listen, these things happen. We'll be with you again next week, and until that time, like I always say. <laughs> Gee, it's all fine and dandy. Sugar candy when I'm with you. Good night, everybody. This is your announcer speaking.